again it looks like we're live once again I noticed that the internet connection went down and normally when it does that it'll do it for a few seconds and come right back up and um, today it went down and stayed down so I had to reboot the system here and so hopefully some of you will find me again maybe you've had to go on and and begin your work day and that's certainly understandable uh, if so uh, hopefully you can come back and finish this up at some point throughout the day and somewhere along there I was talking about the need for moderation as we're talking about temperance which really is uh, self-control and um, and when it comes to moderation uh, I was referring to sins of omission and getting our lives out of balance and for myself when I was a teenager I devoted myself so much to playing the saxophone and mastering that instrument that God actually convicted me of that lack of balance because I would spend eight to nine hours a day playing the saxophone and uh, practicing and was not spending time in prayer and in personal relationship with God. And so for me personally, that became an area that had to be moderated in my life and I had to decide what was most important, my relationship with God or pursuing that and um, pursuing a musical career and so everything that I am today uh, as far as the direction of my life has come out of that fruit of temperance or moderation and there's a reason why that it's the last one on the list and that is because of the paradox of Christian living which I believe is that we must give up control of self to gain self-control and so so much of that other fruit is working out these things of our running our own lives and allowing God to take care of our lives and to direct our lives. If we do that, then we can begin to bring our flesh under control. Self-control is being able to keep oneself in check. And that's the hardest uh, thing to do is to keep yourself in check, not letting our circumstances cause us to lose control. Self-control or temperance exhibits this moderation that I'm talking about and it's all about discipline. It is choosing under significant pressure to chase after the important instead of the urgent and there is a difference between what is important and what many times is urgent. Self-controlled people show restraint and are not impulsive and so let's let's uh, take great care that we don't stop short in developing the fruit of the Spirit in our life and allowing it to grow. It grows through our relationship with God. And when God deals with us personally about something in our lives that we need to moderate, then we need to heed that because that is God developing that fruit of the Spirit in our lives. So, so very important. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. I see I've got a couple of you back here that have found the stream, and sometimes it's, it's hard to find us uh, when we come back up after... Uh, the internet goes down like that. And I was just thinking yesterday, it's been a long time since we've had uh, technical issues. Well, of course, then this morning it happened. Uh, but here we are. Let's go to prayer and let's believe for a great move of God in these needs today. Lord, we come to you in your mighty name. We thank you for every prayer warrior that is praying now. And we'll be praying with us later on in the day. We pray your blessing upon this prayer gathering. We're praying, Lord, that your will would be done, that your kingdom would come today in earth as it is in heaven. We pray today, God, that uh, you would just be glorified as we depend upon you, as we come to you, trusting you as our source. We want to glorify you as who you are, not be like those who... Uh, knowing you did not glorify you as God, did not put you in your proper place. Lord, you are our source and you are our only true hope in this world. We give you praise and glory today. We bring every need to you, Lord, believing for you to move in these situations. We believe for J.B. Goforth today and his family, for Gerald Hudson, for Michael Parrott, for Dennis, Lord, all these in Michelle's family who have need today. We're believing for their healing. We pray for peace and comfort for these who have lost someone, Cheryl's friend who just lost her mother to cancer. We pray for the Greer family uh, who lost Bob in a tragic accident this week. We pray for Brother and Sister Jerry Jones, Lord, as they 
mourn the loss of their only son, Dustin. We pray for Dustin's son, Gavin, that you would comfort his heart in Jesus' name. Bring them through this dark time. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, Lord, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Hallelujah. We pray for these children today. Tano needs your healing touch. We believe, God, that everything will be fine with his shunt, that the doctors will be able to determine exactly what needs to be done. We pray, Lord, for Ellie Mae, for baby Elsie, for baby Brantley Joe, for Abram Page, for Abel Ray, and for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker. Lord, it matters not to you what the particular issue is. Your power extends into every situation. There's nothing that's beyond your control and beyond your purview today. We believe for your healing, whether it be a defect, a birth defect, whether it be uh, a temporary illness, whether it be heart conditions, uh, syndromes that are rare and uh, undefined and unable to be uh, corrected by physicians or cancer, Lord. You're able to do it all. We give you the glory and the praise. We pray for these others who are battling cancer today. Lord, each and every one of these names that we've called out today in this prayer group, Lord, you've heard every name. You've seen every condition, Lord. You see what their families are suffering. And we believe for your healing power, Lord, for your intervention today in these situations. For these who have COVID, Lord, we pray for your healing. We pray for Peggy today, Lord, that you would give strength in her body. Lord, strengthen her limbs today. Bring healing to her, we pray. We pray for Beth, Lord, for healing of her migraines. We pray for Marcia, Lord, for healing of her headaches and her high blood pressure and her stomach issues today. We pray for Terry and for Aubrey for healing of their stomach problems. We pray for Reverend Martin Ballestero, God, for healing of this stroke event that he has suffered. We pray for Jen Marlin, Lord, for healing of dystonia. Lord, that she would uh, not have to have that neck and back surgery that's uh, in her future right now. You're able to change that, Lord. And if she has to go through the surgery, you're able to bring her through it. We pray, God, your will uh, to be done, that it would be a testimony, God, of your power. We pray for these others with back problems and with hip problems. Lord, you see Jenny and Britt and Terry and Michael and Tammy and James and Sister Carol Dixon's pastor, we believe for your touch for them today, for those with Parkinson's disease, those with MS, with autoimmune disease, with dementia, Lord. You're the healer of it all today. We pray for Rue, Lord, as he's needing a lung retransplant surgery, for Robbie and Kendra, Lord, who have problems with their lungs, their respiratory system. We believe for healing. We believe for healing of shingles for Mary, for healing of heart issues for Kenny and James. We believe for healing of diabetes for Cheryl and for myself, for Brother Pulliam, for J.R. Johnson, for Christian, and for Brother and Sister Dornbach's son. We pray for Terry's friend, Marcia, for Tim Workman, for my Aunt Emily Stanley. Lord, she needs your healing today as well. We believe, God, for Lane Reasons and for Virgil Pulliam's brother, Lord, for healing of their bodies. You see this kidney transplant situation that Lane has faced uh, where this transplant has not functioned properly. We pray that kidney would begin to function fully. We pray for healing of his fractures uh, and his broken ribs. Lord, we pray for healing of the liver and pancreas and kidneys for Brother Pulliam's brother. We pray for these others with kidney problems. Touch Cheryl today. Touch Lee. Touch Jim, Lord, and Loren. We pray for James's grandfather, for Jennifer's co-worker, for Dell and Regina, and for Nicole. Lord, that their health issues would be brought under control, that they would be in perfect health today. We pray for Gary and for Judy Williams' mother as they're uh, facing surgery in the next uh, couple of weeks. We pray, God, for Carmen's friend Jamie, for recovery from brain bleed, from broken bones, for Britt Moore's mom who fractured her pelvis, for John Vaughn's son Dylan, for Carmen's cousin Shannon, for Dorinda Shepherd. Lord, you are well able to restore them fully. We thank you, God, for where you brought them from, that they've been able to be put on our praise report list as they've begun to recover. And we believe to see the completion of the work today. We pray for the Stewart family, for Brother and Sister Woody's family. We lift up Marcia's family today. We pray for Annette and Dave, for Angela's family, 
for Grace's best friend's family, for Lolo today, God, move in her family, move, Lord, in her work situation. We pray for Debbie's family, for her daughters, Lord, that there would be peace and forgiveness in that family, that the issues would be resolved. You see every spiritual need, Lord, in our families and among our friends and relatives and in our circles of influence today. And we lift them up every name, Lord, that we've called out today in this prayer gathering. You've heard those names. And, Lord, it's not your will that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. It's not your will, Lord, that anyone would be living a life bound today by alcohol or drugs or any other substance. Lord, you are our only master. We want you to be in perfect control of our lives and we believe for your deliverance, God, for your salvation, for restoration, for those who are discouraged, Lord, to be lifted up today. Hallelujah. Have your way in our lives, oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray for Gary Hastings, Lord. You see this unspoken need today, whatever it is, we know you're able, God, to take care of it. We pray for Judy's need today, Lord, that you would help her to sell her home let your perfect will be done in that situation. You have the buyer for her, and we believe that today. We pray, God, for the situation in Israel, Lord, that things would be resolved there. In Jesus' name, protection, we pray today for the people, Lord, that are in harm's way. Lord, I pray you would help me to meet these deadlines that I'm facing. In Jesus' name, I know you're giving me strength and direction and ability to manage my time to get through these things. And I give you thanks for it today. Hallelujah. Have your way through this prayer team. Lord, let it not just end with this prayer together this morning, but let this be the launching point. Put someone in our path today that we can minister to, someone that's hungry for your word, someone that needs healing, someone that needs a touch of your presence in their lives. And let us be the conduit today to bring your presence to them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for hanging with me this morning and getting through these technical difficulties. I look forward to joining you again on Monday morning. Uh, Monday morning, it will be pre-recorded as I'll be traveling during the morning and not able to uh, be live with you at 730, but I will certainly post the prayer requests that we have where you can read them and uh, we will still pray together, uh, although we'll have to do that remotely um, and, um, and at different times. But we thank God for each and every opportunity. I want to be consistent with this. And so I, I try to make arrangements if I cannot do it at 730 to make sure that it's provided for you at that time. I'll see you Monday morning right here, 730 a.m.